Yo, what it is and what's good? Welcome back to the 280 Plus Podcast. I'm your host, Slows Def. And uh, before we get started, I like I like to thank the audience, you know what I mean? Thank the listeners, uh, whether it's on YouTube, whether you listen on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you know, your your, your likes and your, your shares go a long way. And I appreciate everything. Um, I appreciate my guests. And uh, we, got a, we got a special guest here tonight, a lovely, multi-talented uh, guest here. And uh, oh. can you uh, introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Deidre Beverly. I'm born and raised out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, now based in Atlanta, Georgia. And like you stated, you know, I do a, a multitude of things, but I think a lot of people know me for my modeling. Okay, okay. Um, yeah so that's, but there's so much more <laughs> okay that's good that's good and we're gonna get into right. that um and i i noticed uh you kind of hiding it right now whatever but the signature blue hair you know what i mean oh yeah like, yeah so how, it's, how, a little, it's, a little, it's a little crazy right now you know <laughs> i just got back home um due you know to the circumstance yeah, of yeah. Me, my father passing so i get my hair did tomorrow so i okay. i'm trying to you know keep it real hidden <laughs> yeah 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 and my and my condolences to you um but uh how, how long has the blue hair has how, how long has that been your signature how long have you been rocking it like that like we're talking 2019 2018 19 right after well during my me getting my uh cosmetology license i i tested the blue out in school um okay. i actually had a taper cut Oh, and um, I, I bleached my hair. Yeah, I've, I've rocked short hair, long hair, all all types. But um, that's when I first tried it. And then August of last year, um, my hair was about like bra strap length, and um, I dyed all of my hair. Ble- well, I bleached it, then I dyed it blue. So I've been consistently wearing the blue hair since August of last year. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. And uh, do you think does that like help you get like? you know more attention more looks you just you just kind of embraced it like that's just like i mean one thing that i do one thing that i do recognize is it's different so um i i I always got attention as far as um my beauty you know that being god given so i already recognize that but when i when i started rocking the blue it was almost like a oh Hey, you wear that well. Whoa, blue. Yeah, like, yeah. You know I mean, like you're at, it, it, like you know what I mean. So I yes, I do get more okay. attention than before. But I mean, honestly, even if I didn't, I just love the color blue. I always had like ah. the background right now that you're rocking. Yeah, that's a sub. That's a sub. <laughs> I love sub. blue. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So you, uh, so you were, you, you said that you were based out of Harrisburg, and then you moved to Atlanta. Um, you know, how how long ago did you make that leap out out there? Honestly, the same time August. <laughs> oh, just just last yeah, year. Yeah, last year. Oh, okay, yep. okay. Yep. So um, I moved down here with my fiance. Uh, shout out Max Speeds. Yeah. And our children, and um. We just been on the grind trying to do the same thing we were doing up there, but just on a bigger level. And God has been good. Um, I'm definitely starting to, I guess you want to say, get noticed in ATL. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. It, it takes some time. Like at first I was like, dang, like I'm not getting booked. I'm not getting, oh. you know, you, you know what I mean? But you have to just put yourself out there. So, um, yeah, I started doing that and... You know, I got some things lined up this summer. This summer is going to be, yeah, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a movie, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's a sub. That's a sub. Yeah. so. Did, like, did you have any roots down there, or y'all just kind of made a business decision? Um, you know I know I mean? that he had artists that he had, you know, been working with. We were traveling um, up and down, you know, from Harrisburg to to Atlanta for a few months. Okay, um, maybe up to a year, and so he already had built his clientele. Me personally. I 
I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I had to I had to reach out. I um what I did it was I actually if you go on Facebook and you follow groups. Okay. Or or like, you know, pages or anything. Um I I I was following like Atlanta model, Atlanta photographers, Atlanta, you did um like a new photo little shoot or a music video that I did, I would post in those groups. And so that started getting me the recognition and also being seen by Atlanta photographers. Shout out Really Real. Um, he he moved down there before me. But really Real Photos is based out of Harrisburg. And he's down here shooting too, but I, I just did a photo shoot with him. And I was doing a photo shoot with him when I was traveling back and forth. So it's really just about like, like finding how you can get that like how you can get noticed in okay. a certain area and i felt like what helped me was following those groups okay so that's that's a good segue um because you know talking about modeling and kind of getting noticed and things like that whatever you know what i mean we know that you know the instagram era the social media era you know modeling is is very saturated and it's very competitive yeah. you know what i'm saying so like yes. how do yes. you how do you break through that saturation you know what i mean because you know um, there's a, an abundance of beautiful women out there you know there's I mean? so many beautiful women it doesn't make sense yeah um so that's I, I'm, I'm gonna keep keep it totally honest with you one of the struggles that i've always had was um which route i should take I okay. guess to put it that way. But I feel like the way that I separate myself, number one is um I I'm I feel extremely authentic. Like I feel like I'm not doing what everyone sees being done. Okay. That could get you there quicker. Like I'm willing to take the longer route. Okay. I'm willing to be accepted for me. Like you're either gonna like me and what I post and what I bring, or you're just not gonna like me at all. Okay. Respect. Um, and so I feel like people feel that authenticity. But the biggest thing is too, it's 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 my character. Like when I get in front of these photographers, or I get in front of these artists, or I get in front of anybody, I'm a professional all day. Okay. And um, you know, I I I show up on time, I work hard, I come ready. No one ever has to be concerned or wonder, oh, is she gonna have her hair done. Um, so, yeah. So, you talk about authenticity and um, just, you know, just kind of, you know. Because I feel like where, where the saturation is, is um, hypersexualized content. Ooh, okay. And I'm not a big fan of that. I'm all for being sexy. You know, you can see yeah. some of my posts and... You know, I I definitely you know give that, but I I'm I'm it's like only a certain point I'm gonna go past, and I feel like they're like, and you know this, at you you click on Instagram, yeah, what's popping up? The the booty. You, you go to I mean? the story. Yeah. What's going to pop up? Yep, yep. Yeah. So that's why it's so <laughs> saturated because everyone feels as though they have to be naked. Everyone yeah. feels as though they have to over sexualize themselves to get seen. So when you got five hundred thousand girls that are naked and you have five that are gorgeous, stunning, yeah. but also keeping that like class to it. You're gonna you're gonna definitely pick the girls that are are different that are gonna stand out in your music video. Like mm. think about how many music videos you've seen and everyone's in a bikini. Yeah. And yeah. and can you remember that one girl that was chosen and she she wasn't the overly sexualized one. She mm. was gorgeous. Yeah. But she had on a classy ass dress and some badass heels and her hair was sitting right in, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm just one of those models. Like I like I said, I don't mind bringing sex appeal, but I do think that there's just a, a certain amount of respect for taste, tastefulness. Okay. Well, how do you, yeah, like how do you reconcile that just in the sense of, you know, nowadays the voice of like women, you know, I, I maybe women just kind of guise it as women empowerment, you know, being able to like, you know, uh, uh, be able to show their bodies without being sexual like how do you like you know how do you find that balance because you um, know I, I feel like that voice is getting louder and louder right you know what i mean like yeah i i actually think it's it's beautiful because you got to remember that um there was a point in time where women couldn't say do think feel um breathe without a man you know having an opinion or a man having something you know like like 
there was a time when women didn't have rights. There was a time where women couldn't, you know, do the things that they can do today. So it's always beautiful to see that evolution because everyone does um, need to be treated fairly and everyone does deserve to be treated equally. However, um, I'm not too sure how I feel about the message that's being put out there. Okay. Um, Respect. You know, I'm all for rocking the skin that you're in. I'm all for rocking what makes you feel good. I'm all for being proud of yourself, being loud, being strong, all of that. But women are starting to talk like men used to talk. Oof. And it's kind of like scary. It is. Um, because I think <laughs> women need to stay feminine. Yeah. And it's and it's coming off very aggressive. Yeah. And and you know, I listened to this this woman named uh April Mason. Is her name April Mason? I don't but, know. I never heard of her. Uh, but she um she talks about like feminine femininity. Yeah. 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 Which but 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 really she but she said it's not it's not for men though. Like we not they not y'all shouldn't be doing it's for yourself. You know what I mean? Yes. Like be feminine it for yourself. Be for yeah. Yourself. yeah it should so. Be for yourself. so like 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 you know, I don't I don't I don't knock what anybody does but i i necessarily don't love the message that's being put out there because yeah. i have two daughters okay okay so i don't want them to grow up and and think um i'm i'm gonna take a nigga's money and i'm gonna Ooh. get everything out of them and i'm okay. gonna you know f on the next dude and yeah you know f and f get to the bag, get to the bag, yeah. Get to the bag. And, yeah yeah like i just i just don't think that that's really what life's all about like, okay I think a lot of those, you know, the, the music industry is, 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 you know, people are puppets. So Ooh. I don't even think the women that are saying it agree with the stuff that they're saying. Mm, right, right, right. Yeah. It's like, it might be just like a means to an end or mm -hmm. like it's yeah, so some other type of agenda, but that's yeah. good. You, you brought up uh, the, your, your daughters and I, I'm a, I'm a tie that back into something later on. Uh, Right. That's a good topic, but um, so so you are a pub published model, right? Um, uh, what are some of your looks that you've gotten so far? Like, you know, and what kinds of modeling do you do? Because you say you don't like to do the over sexualized stuff. Like, are you, you know, are there like for clothing brands or like, you know, for commercials? I, like, you know. Yes. So, um, I I love I love 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 when people send me merch and I get to rock it. Um. I love fashion, so I guess you could call me a fashion model. Okay. Um, I never go by I model. I never go not not knocking it, but I just <laughs> that you know, I like to be called a fashion model. Okay. Um, I always wanted to shoot for editorial. I really, really, I think that would be one of my biggest goals would to be in a high fashion magazine, um, like Harper Bazaar. Oh. Vogue, paper, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to do editorial. And, yes, I'm talking the, like, you what's all them crazy looks? <laughs> like, that's that's kind of, like, what I'm into. Okay. Um. So, I, I did get published before. It was in Rose Magazine, me and photographer Anthony Little of Platinum Images. Um, he got me that publication, so that was super dope. And, um... Yeah, uh, I don't know if you just check out my IG. Yeah, you know, you'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What kind of looks I like? Honestly, I I'm down with whatever. As long as I'm not bent over, I'm cool. Like. I talk about it. I, I like that. I like that. And is it well? Is it because also because you're engaged? You know what I mean, or is that just your character? Also, no, because he he well, he doesn't mind that. Like okay. he understands the entertainment industry. Like okay. that's all entertainment. Um, sex sells. Like he he totally gets that. So if I did want to take that route, he he wouldn't have a problem. He he probably wouldn't like you know too overexposed. Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. When um I don't what is that when Amber Rose had her kitty on, on uh, over, all yeah. over the internet that yeah. one yeah like I'm I because of me and, and him being together i would never go that far but uh, yeah. he understands the entertainment industry as well okay that's okay. just me my dad my dad would have me in a chokehold if he sees so yeah like yeah oh yeah so yeah you my got dad, that my dad my dad supports my career okay okay um so i'm i just you know i i care about people you're I conscious care about of what that yeah i care about what my father see my sons one day i don't want them to be in high school and they're like yeah you know, you know your mom was on only fans, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. You don't want yeah, that kind you know? of conversation, yeah, no, no. So.
That's not good. fair. To the kids, not yeah, nah, you're right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That, but I, I don't necessarily think that you know, what I mean, I think sometimes when you know, not not attacking women or nothing like that, but sometimes maybe maybe they think about that money, they think about the opportunities, and they're not really thinking about who it's affecting because they're just like, uh, you know, they living in listen. The world. I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I remember I did a video shoot, um, in Philly, and I had to wear like fishnets. This bodysuit, my ass was out, um, you know, and and I don't regret it, um, but I, it definitely made me think like, all right, I don't want to do these kind of music videos. Like, I want to do storytelling or cinematic music videos where my ass is not the main focus; it's my acting. Because again, you know, I I got into acting when I got down here, so yeah, like yeah, that's good. That's good. So yeah, so are right, you speaking of acting and all that? How important is it to be multi talented, like, like as a model? You know what I mean? And is modeling just typically like a stepping stone to seek those other ventures? I think modeling is just it's a stepping stone, stepping stone to anything. I mean, you okay. could go from modeling to being a chef. You could go to modeling to being an artist. You can go from modeling to being a, a I don't know famous pro wrestler I, you know what I, mean? like, <laughs> I feel like modeling gets you seen anyone who's uh, modeling and 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 you know is doing it on a high level it's going to cause attention it's going to the first thing we notice is someone's face or someone's body or someone's look so when you see someone who's nice looking you want to see who that person is yeah, you want to see yeah. what they're doing what they're up to so i think Modeling was definitely my thing that opened the door for again music videos, acting. It got me noticed by a lot of people. That's good. That's good. That's good. And uh, last thing about modeling, um, how important is it to support models that are like going through like similar journeys? Because what I've seen from you so far on social media is that you seem to be very complimentary and supportive of other models. Like you don't seem to be like in competition with nobody you know what i mean like well you know that comes from um self-confidence oh. i think when people aren't confident with themselves and and feel like they need all the shine um they're not going to help anyone else because you know i don't want anyone to outshine me or be better but i i call myself the only dj revely because i i feel like i'm i'm the only me like yeah, like yeah you, i can help 50 other models out which i've had i've gotten models um, in music videos, I've gotten other mod like when I when I could do it. Hey, like I got this girl for you. Um, I got this girl for this music video. I got this girl for this magazine cover. Like you, you. I'm just con I I love. Me. I'm confident. Like you can't take my shine. Like you know what I mean. If you're gorgeous and and you and I see you know you're killing it. You got potential, girl. Like go do it. Like we can all do this. Like it's. How many people on the earth? Yeah, like yeah. every model that's 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 dope can can eat literally. Like. That's good. That's a good attitude so, to have about it. And I, I'm I'm a big supporter of women. I think women are killing women are killing the game right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely. I can't I can't front on that. I can't front on that. Um. So let's let's switch up to like a more fun topic. Um. But it has to still do with like kind of like image and I hope I'm not glitching out. Um. Image and things like that. So um. I don't know. How do you, you know, because obviously like, you know, plastic surgery and cosmetic things, procedures are like just a part of like kind of like that modeling world. Um, but I've seen a, a guy, a rapper, a male rapper. Uh, his name is Ben Man Kevo. And uh, he got, he recently got lipo. Did he get his, did he get lipo? Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you see that? Did you see the boy that got the lipo? Like, I thought that was the. Yes, yes, I did. Yes. How do you feel about plastic surgery? And like, is it a, unacceptable for men to get like cosmetic procedures like that? You know what I mean? I, he did what he felt he needed to do. Okay. Like, I, you know, I can't, we can't tell nobody what they need to do with their body. However, they feel like they need to do it. Like, right. I don't, I don't feel like I need to get lipo. Like, that's not my thing. Like, you right. know, I don't agree with that. Right. Like, you know, I don't agree with that. 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 A lot of times people get plastic surgery not because they feel they need it, but because the world makes you feel like you need it. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I I I've seen be gorgeous women destroy their body. And yeah. I would be like, What the hell were you thinking? And it's like they weren't, you know what I mean? They were doing what they what society is telling them looks good, 
It's going to get you ahead. It's going to get you. And I mean, honestly, it kind of does. If you look at um, a lot of of people who who are changing themselves cosmetically, I mean, they do get seen. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't. It's just it's weird. But I don't tell him. I I don't I don't care if people do it or their body. That's your okay. Body. Yeah, That's so he, like, you know, he you know, and it and it to me it looked it looked like you know, hey, you look like you was in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you was in the gym. So I mean, whatever. But um, me personally, I don't, I don't know. Okay. What what like what about your like maybe your man like I I seen him. He doesn't seem like he he he, he seems you know slender. I mean, so he wouldn't need no liposuction. But like, what if he was a bigger guy? Would you like support like, his liposuction my... journey? Like. <laughs> That's what he wants to do, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> But we're going to hit the gym first. Like, we're going to definitely, we're going to change our diets. Um, I was vegan for a few years. And um, there's some, like, I, I, I'm i more pescatarian now, but I, I could get your diet right. We can go to the gym. I don't know if we got to spend thousands on light one section. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think he he lost he lost so much weight. Today. Everybody wants everything fast. Yeah, the guy, the guy, like he went from two eighty four to two twenty. It, it looked it looked great. It looked like he worked it out. Yeah, well, he he was already like he was like a bigger guy. Like he said, he worked out a lot. Whatever he said, he was tired of going to the gym, and and uh, oh. you know and things like that. And you know he said he said he was talking to his rich friends, and they was like, yeah, man, like everybody does it. Like you know, what I mean, they just be low key about it, whatever. Like. So, but maybe like you was just saying, like it's outside pressures. You know what I mean, almost like. See, what did the guy say to him? Everybody does it, man. Just yeah. go get life off. So, <laughs> what do you think the the BBL girls are saying to each other, and the and the the girls who like the the, the lip injections and the skinnier noses and the you know what I mean? What do you there? It's you got to be told by someone that this is effective and this is going to work. And I think it's done on a large scale. I think. I've had plenty of talks with some of my friends. Girl, I want to. I want to get a Brazilian butt lift. I want to get a. Uh, I want to get my my light bulb. I wanna, we talk. This is the society we live in now. Like where yeah. surgery, plastic surgery, is not foreign anymore. It's, yeah, no. it's like brushing your teeth. It's like wiping your ass. You know, get, let's go get the plastic surgery today. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, see, I, I'm not against it. For for women, it's you know, it's it's. Yeah, because no we go we go through a lot. Like like think of the women who have pregnancies. Yeah, like, I have I have stretch marks from my pregnancies. Think of the women, they, not even women. Think of people who who end up gaining hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Even if you go and work that out, you're gonna have you know saggy skin yeah, in some yeah. areas. So that's why I don't really I don't I don't dislike or judge anyone for getting those changes because at the end of the day we all want to look good yeah yeah but yeah. i think my i don't like it is when someone is perfectly fine and they're doing this transformation because the world i think i think there there is like a stigma though for against men like i don't know like you know i kind of look at it like dang like bro like bull, bull lost like 64 pounds off of that and he was already like brolic whatever and you know maybe it's just a you know kind of chisel out like a couple of areas whatever but like i don't know i think i think men would get more like more ridiculed for that type of thing whatever um you know it's almost like for, as a man you gotta like earn it you know what i mean whatever yeah, and like if a woman yeah. doesn't it doesn't but matter like it doesn't what? matter as much you that's know what, what i'm mean? saying like women we do so much like i'm not about to come at a man for getting lipo i'm not about to come at a man for wanting to put a, a wave wig on, okay. you know, the, with the waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that be looking crazy too, though. That. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I I I don't like it, but I'm not gonna come at nobody. I'm not gonna come at a man because how can how can how can us how can us as women come at men for wanting to do stuff like that? I just don't. It don't make sense. Like we shouldn't even have an opinion on that because we don't want to hear y'all's opinion on what we changed. Okay. Okay. So like let it alone. Yeah. And if you are a woman and you're full blown natural, no surgery, no weaves, no lashes, no lipstick, no then then you can say something about it. But we do a lot to ourselves that I don't even think men even want us to do 
Yeah. But so it's like I don't have an opinion on that. Men can do what they want. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, I think I think like I said, like you know. Most guys probably w- wouldn't want to do it, but like if they could get away with it, they're they probably would do gu- it. Gu- guys would do it though. Into uh, another fun topic, um, let's talk about have you seen uh, the premiere for P Valley yet? You know what? I didn't even think it aired yet. Yeah, did I said I did say something to you, and I was like, I was like, yo, see the premiere yet? You gotta go watch that, whatever. Yeah, I went on YouTube TV and I went to go like watch it and it was giving me errors so i don't know if um it's something on my end but i mean like i said i watched season one but no i did not see the premiere okay all right i won't give away anything whatever but like you know um basically though the back on hiatus i mean last time it was on was in 2020 and it's funny because like you know it's still it's new i mean it's only second season so not everybody's on to it yet but I noticed that there's a lot of people that's like, right. they might see the previews and like, man, why would I watch that? Whatever, whatever. So what do you think, though, in general, what is the allure of that show? You know what I mean? Because it is an interesting, like, take, whatever, you know what I mean, on just certain things. The, but. It's, the allure is, is, the allure is, we all know. The allure, yeah, yeah, yeah. The allure is that underground nightclub, strip club, crime, you know, yep, it's. Yep. It's like, you know, I don't know why that's alluring, but it is because it's it's like the things that are hidden that, you know, were the world supposed to be so perfect. No, this is like the stuff that goes down. Yeah. What, what's it called in the valley? You know right. Yeah. I mean? P Valley. valley. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, yeah, we I, I, I like. <laughs> yeah. What is it down in the valley where the girls it's get naked? naked. So, yeah. 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 So that's you know what I mean. And um, I I I, lo- I really like the show. <sighs> so I. Just want to put break put this out there. Okay. When I first watched the show with my girlfriend, she's my best friend, um, Samira. I was like, I thought that the guys that were playing um, the gay roles, I thought all of them were gay. And I did my research and I went on Instagram, and I guess the guy, Lil Murda, that played, is that his name? The rapper. Yeah, who yeah. liked Uncle Cliff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually like straight in real life. So my question, if I could flip the script, yeah, go ahead. My question, my question to you is, would that be hard for you as a straight male to play a gay role? Yeah, I, th- I think so. I think so. Um, you know they they say that like early on in like Will Smith's career, um, like he could have probably had an Oscar twenty five years ago. You know what I mean? Because there right. was a there was a movie that he played in, and I can't recall the movie, but like where was he, it? Was it the something degrees of separation? Yeah, at something, like, it might have been something like that. And like yeah, he, he it was, was supp- it was. Yeah, he was supposed to do a kissing yeah, yeah. scene, and he like he didn't want to do it, whatever. And like that kind of like. You know, kind of put him in a. You know, he was getting the blockbuster roles, whatever. But like, mm-hmm. they weren't. They weren't respecting him. His acting. You know what I mean? Like, you know. So, um, not until he started doing biopics like yeah. Ali and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, um, I think yeah. it would be tough. I think it'd be tougher too, like because of maybe the nature of Uncle Clifford, because you know he he kind of represents like a whole different type of man in in the the you know gender bending and and things like that whatever yeah you know i mean so like i think it might yeah. be a little bit tougher even with that even so but if i was a if i was a professional actor like because that's the thing like sometimes you got these actors that are like you know maybe they're a, mu- a rapper and then they just they just started acting whatever but like you have these people that are trained actors and things like that like mm-hmm. that might be different like i think you might accept it more but like, if I was just, you know, me, like if you know, as a podcaster, I've got a role. Nah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna want to play. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, because you know, I seen he had a wife and kids. And I'm like, I just wonder how that like plays out. You know, like when people see him out, because like that was my first mm-hmm. thing. I thought that he was already, you know, um, a gay man, but he's not. And I'm like, you know, there's there's tons of actors and actresses that play gay roles, then they're not, you know, really gay in real life. So, you know, it's all about, I guess, if, if you're a professional and you're, you gonna sell that role. Yeah, no matter yeah. what, you know, so I, yeah. that was just my question. Nah, that's good. That's good. That's good. 
Um, but yeah, I like I I think the allure, yeah, obviously it's the women. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. and I cause I told some bros, like, I'm like, yo, just that alone will will keep your attention because it's it pretty will. It will. it's pretty graphic. You know what I mean? It's like it's like the players club like series, yep. you know what I mean? Yep. And uh, we all probably wanted to see an extended version of that, right? You know what I mean? Yes. Right. And and uh <laughs> but like I think it's kinda it's interesting because like we've never seen like a, a setting on a show that's like as country and maybe as ghetto and ratchet yes, as that, yes, and it's like yes. I like I don't know we just like it because it's like yo we never it's real it's raw it's real right? yeah it feels very real and I mean, like the damn club was gonna close they had to throw a, a stripper banger ball whatever yeah you know? like, yeah it's just dope you know and 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 it's us it's black it's yep. you know so. There's a connection there on so many different, like anyone can connect to that show. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. We're back. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, obviously, yeah, like, like you were saying, like the lore is just, I, I think, yeah, some of the same things, you know, the, the black cast, you know I mean, the, the raw grittiness of it. Um, and, you know, obviously mm -hmm. there's, you know, the, and some of the storylines are interesting, whatever. And it's crazy because, you know, obviously, you know, you're watching the show and, and, you know certain previews might turn people off whatever but like like i fuck with uncle clifford you know what i'm saying like he just <laughs> i mean he's he's a real character like even though yeah. like you know i never seen nobody like that in real life though you know what i mean and like right. i wonder though is that is do you think like it's like that down south like they're more accepting because like or it's just oh yeah is, is it like yeah. hyper or is it okay okay i think it is more accepting um Cause like I, he don't he don't like because the men in that they don't did like granted it's a show but like yeah. he garner he he you know earns respect like people fuck with him like you know what I mean like yeah. they're not they're not weirded out by him because you know? you know I think people especially males feel like just because a guy has on maybe feminine clothes a little makeup like that he's not a man like this yeah. dude can still rip this dude can still <laughs> knock your ass out like yeah. don't play with uncle clifford like you know yeah. what i mean but i see a lot of them here like okay it's normal it's not you know no one you know thinks anything of it or and they really be cool like that's what i'm saying like i as long as you're a cool like and you're a good person like you know people just um yeah let them like good. live yeah 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 let people live you know like that's that has nothing to do with you yeah yeah, yeah what they do your, what they like, do should not affect you at all like if you don't have to agree with it but you can still respect folks at the end of it. yeah definitely 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 all right, that's good. That's good. So yeah, so you know, tune into that. Um, it comes on Fridays. I didn't. I didn't know that. I thought it was like when I thought it was like Power. Like came on on Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm I'm excited to see yeah. what happens with that Keyshawn and Diamond and that baby dad. Yeah. Like that. That's an interesting yeah. little storyline there too, and just you know right. them trying to revive uh the club. You know what I mean? Things like that. So, all right. right. All right. Let's get let's get back into you a little bit. All right. So. When I reached out to you, you know what I mean, and I was interested in doing the interview, um, you know, one of the first things you said, you was like, yeah, I'm engaged to an industry producer, whatever, right? And I was like, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. So, like, I had, I had like, like, perceptions of that. Like, I was thinking, like, damn, yo, she moved down to Atlanta, and some dude maybe swept her off her feet and got her to move down, whatever. I don't know, whatever. And then, you know, I started digging, whatever, and then I realized, like, you know, uh, your your fiance, he's from where you from, whatever, you know what I mean? And y'all mm -hmm. you know, got like a whole family unit, whatever. Um yeah. and and uh so so can you can you you know kind of tell us, you know, about being like a a couple like in the entertainment industry? Like is it do you think it's harder or easier <laughs> than like a, a traditional couple, you know what I mean? People that work in nine to fives, like what's it like? Um it's a roller coaster. It's oh. it, it, it's it's filled with ups and downs, um, but the ups are are very exciting, um, and you know it's just it's all about like like you know if you got a garden and like you don't tend to it, like it's gonna wither away, it's, it's gonna dry up, it's gonna you know not bloom and sprout and grow so yeah that's like our relationship um we met in 2016 okay um and been going strong ever since of course you know 
with me modeling, you got the guys and and the the, the lust and all that. With him being an audio engineer and, and super producer, you know, he's got his things that he runs into with the ladies, and you know, a lot of growth has to happen. But, yeah. Um, it, it's honestly a blessing, and every day that we look at each other, whether we go through something great or go through something bad, like we're a team, and um, we're we're moving up. So you know, I feel like God is pleased with us, and um, I don't know, like it's, it's just that's my best friend. That's know. good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, because like I think you know, you know, a lot of people, women that are like seeking, you know, like stardom or whatever you know what i mean they they might not they might not know what they're getting into you know what i mean like if if they meet a certain guy that's like yeah. maybe you know so i just yeah i was just curious about that well, yeah, and i've had my share and that's the thing that 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 i used to run into is um you're you're for me my sole purpose was to go out and get business from what i was doing and you got the men that um, pretend to use business to, to meet you, or, like they really, really do love your look and love what you do, and they really just want to hire you for their project to bring attention, whatever else. So I definitely went through that um, stage, but it's funny because Vince likes to call himself like the, the Jay Z style, kind of like Beyonce or husband. Like, he doesn't. You're not going to see him all over my stuff. You're not going to okay. see him, you know what I mean, getting mad. Like, he's very laid back. He's in the cut. He lets me do my thing. He lets me be the, the you know, the, the the superstar. And um, it just works out. Like, we're not, we understand the business. So, like, okay. we're not, like, up each other's butts about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good, good perspective on that. Yeah. Um, and then let's see. Do, 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 do. So, um, and just kind of, it probably helps that y'all, you know, maybe the longevity of y'all, your relationship, whatever. And maybe because you were with him before he got like to the level that he's at, right? Yeah. So for both of us, yeah. Um, he actually was the like I, people were telling me to model, but he actually like put the the business bug in my hair. Like you should model. Okay. okay. Um. Did I did say hair? You, did, ear? Did, ear. It did sound like you said hair. But did you um did y'all work together in any capacity prior? Like did you you know what I mean like like you did, did you did no, say you did when some, I first okay. when I first mm -mm, when I first met him, it was over Facebook and <laughs> he was on his live and he was playing one of his beats that he he made. He sampled like some old school beat or whatever and turned it into a beat and i just topped on there and i was like that you know that beat is dope and then from there we were supposed to work on music but that didn't get anywhere that didn't get far okay. i was supposed to meet up with him to do music and you know oh we're here now oh 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 <laughs> oh so he wasn't the most professional at one point in time i mean he was <laughs> um i would i wouldn't say that because like when we when we first met up, we met up to hang out. Okay, but I did okay. like express like, "Hey, I want to get to know you because I want to do music." And it, we were. It's funny because we were laughing about this other day. <laughs> it didn't go how I thought it was going to go, but it, it went how it was supposed to go. Because we're here now, we're like thriving, and we're doing great. So yeah, that's dope. That's so dope. That's so dope. Um, all right, so good, good, good. Um, let's switch it up though. Let's switch it up. And I got, you know, two more major topics, some, some questions, whatever. So I came across this, um, uh, there's a platform that I, that I kind of sometimes check out on YouTube. It's called like the Lapeef network, whatever, but it's usually they, these, it's a group of people and they have these like panels, it's men and women. They talking about just good stuff. It's black, black people. You know what I mean? Talking about, you know, real relevant okay. stuff, but like real deep conversations. So, uh, one of the topics that came up, it was like, uh, the headline at least you know the cat is like uh keeping your daughter from for, from being for the streets you know what i mean like how do you do this because you know as a parent our job is to like guide our kids mm -hmm. to make the right decisions right but we all know 
that as our kids get older, they're not just influenced by us. They're influenced by others. They're influenced by their friends. They're influenced by, you know, different peers and things like that. So as a mom, right, what are some things that you're doing to ensure that your daughters aren't for the streets? You know what I mean? We'll say. Communication. I think okay. communication is the biggest thing. Like you can, you can try to do every, you know, put restrictions on the TV, mm -hmm. Restrictions on the phone. I see people go to all these lengths and it's like, do you just sit down and talk to your kids? Like, yeah, I literally talk to my kids like a friend almost like I, okay. you know, now they know not to play with me because when I say something and I need you to do that, like I have the serious mom look on my face. Yeah. Yeah. But they, yeah. they know when it's time to just like chill and just talk like, and I, I'm, I knew when my, my daughter had her first crush, um, I knew she had some funny feelings here in seventh grade um, because, you know, she just hit puberty. Okay. Um, I don't have to really worry about my, my, uh, my nine-year-old yet because she's, she's, she's only focused on school and fun right now. That's good. That's Even good. though she knows, she knows things because, I mean, I remember in kindergarten, she came home and was like, mommy, these two little girls on my bus said they're lesbians. And this, I'm talking kindergartens. So you, you can't really keep your kids from everything. Like talk to them, like, cause when you remember when you were a kid and you, it's a different conversation that you have with your, your, your homies at school and your dad. Yeah. But, like, the conversations with your homies at school was way more explicit, way more, you know what I mean? Like, you let it all hang out. I try to talk to my kids like that because I need to know what they're thinking. Okay, okay, okay. Like, yeah, being that, like, strict parent, you know what I mean, that's just like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do this. You know, we, we've probably seen it. You probably know, have some peers that, like, those girls that are, like, super restricted, they end up, once they once they see the world, and they're not giving that information. They're not getting those talks to. They <laughs> they go crazy. You know what I mean? And they do things yeah. that they end up regretting, they go crazy, yeah. or that wouldn't make their fathers proud. You know what I mean? Whatever. Right. So like, yeah. So it is about kind of yeah. Maybe not being maybe you know to an extent being a friend, whatever. But just being open. Yeah. That community, like you said, that communication. Yeah. You gotta be able to have the tough talks. Like I told my daughter straight up: when you feel like you're. You want you're you're you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You gotta say something. Like, yeah, yeah. You gotta say something because I, it's not. It's we can't be dumb and think they're never gonna think about it. Yep. Yep. That's yeah, we can't be naive. Like yeah, we can't be naive. naive. About that. Yeah. 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 Not my child would never please. Yeah. Yeah. Your <laughs> child. Yeah. The people that say that they ch they, they their children are the main ones. See, I mean, they're the, the ones getting it in and yep. getting it popping. So. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So that's good. That's good. And uh, last topic. Last topic. And it kind of it's related to this, whatever. Because then an extension of that. Um. So one of the hosts, though, he was talking about um or participants. He was talking about you know how he's you know, kind of grooming his daughter to be a wife. You know what I mean? And he alluded, mm -hmm. he alluded to being connected with a few different families and kind of brought up this idea of like an arranged marriage, right? Mm -hmm. And now obviously we from, you know, this is we're this is the Western world. This is the 21st century. And a lot of us probably can't fathom that, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, but, yeah. but when we think about marriage as an institution, like, that's like that's how they was doing it from the beginning of time. Yeah, you know I mean, like yeah. a lot, there a lot of marriages were were arranged, whatever. And, and go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So go ahead. I, so how I feel about that topic is, um, okay. My bad. <laughs> I feel about that topic is um, at back in the day because you kind of almost know like this this person that I'm setting my child up with comes from this background and this family and there's going to be structure and the legacy will be carried on because I know they come from this background and this upbringing. So it makes sense if you want to keep your legacy strong and keep certain things, you know, structured and, and under control. 
know, but like when it comes to love, you know, is it gonna last though? Cause like, don't, all right, we're like, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm like, a, we're gonna get into that though. We're gonna get into that real quick okay. because so obviously, like, obviously, like I said, it's a uh, perception is reality, right? So, like, obviously, mm -hmm. our perception of it because we grew up in America. It's like, it's, you know, we do marry for love, whatever, but also the divorce rate is sometimes it goes over 50%, up, up to like 53% yeah. divorce rate, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, in other parts of the world, it's a lot more common and like half of the marriages in the world are arranged, whatever. So in India right now, granted, and they're modern, like they're not, like they do have like a caste system, like there's levels the way people live or whatever, but like that's the norm. And the divorce rate in India is 1%, but like 82% of their marriages are arranged or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, like, well, maybe so, <laughs> we need to get, maybe we that's need what, to get the arranged. That's what I, that's what I mean. Like, like if I had a network of people, like now granted, that but, would take, but, that would take a lot of infrastructure to kind of build up. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you connecting with people, maybe you live in a certain area that your kids are going to certain schools, yeah. whatever. But like, if you take some of the guesswork out of it, you know what I mean? Granted, maybe they have options whatever but like it's you only gonna marry you only, i only want you with these type of dudes you know what i mean because or these type of women because <clears throat> you know we trying to you know build you said, let, let, yeah, yeah legacy like, you know what i mean yeah like you can't like you know say there's this this family um this powerful family in india mm -hmm. and for generations the marriages have been arranged and they've been married for years they were fruitful they had children and their children's marriage were arranged and then all of a sudden one of the sons in that family no diss no shade you know gets with a, a, a hoe or something <laughs> that's not arranged or whatever and, yeah you know it, it's gonna throw that legacy off because it's like that family was built off a of structure and and you know they had it mapped out and then you got you know the son over here picking the Picking his own wife and not having good judgment and yeah. young and yeah. just seeing the attraction and not seeing what kind of mother she's going to be or what kind of wife she's going to be because we we move off of love yep. instead of logic. So yeah. yeah. I don't necessarily know how I would feel. My parents were like, this is who you're marrying, but... I mean, it's working in India, so. That's what I'm saying. But like, would you would you think like if if you could, you know, because now y'all and y'all in a different place, whatever, and you you know, and you're moving up, you know, what I mean, y'all status is is going up, whatever. Would would now, you? I'm gonna be, tell you right now. Would you be open to it? Like, if 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 it was possible. I would be like when it comes to my kids. Yeah. Yeah, with your kids. Oh, I'd love yeah. to arrange it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would love to arrange it because I know what to look for. Yeah, and I think some of us, like some of us, already do that. Like when, like when we take pride in build, raising our kids up a certain way, and like I said, my son or my daughter is gonna bring in some wacko or some. We already be like, uh, uh like who is this? Like no, <laughs> and then you know the moms and the dads will have the ones that, and then the moms and the dads will have ones that they love. Like oh, I know she's a, she's a good girl. That's you. That's who you stay with. But. Yeah. In America, our kids don't listen. You know, <laughs> oh, mom, you don't like mom, mom. You only like her because she she's sweet to you. No, son, I can see that she's gonna be a good wife, a yep. good mother, a good this. Yeah. And I want I want my kids to know that stop being attracted to the outside. Like that yeah. is so. I can get into a a, a a nasty fire today. My house could catch a fire. God forbid. And I can lose my attraction on the outside. Yeah. But how am I going to, what kind of person am I, am I going to be once my looks are gone? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I'm still going to be that good-natured person. So, I, I I see why India, you know, is, is doing well like that. Because they probably know, like, in order to keep this legacy going, we can't have no black chinas in the family. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right. You know what you I'm know saying? What I mean? Yeah. So, but yeah, so, but this is a black man saying this, whatever. And I was thinking like, wow, that's kind of like, it kind of blew my mind. I was thinking like. Shout out to black men right now, though, because I yeah, feel like black men are, 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 black men are starting to um, value themselves a lot more. Ooh, okay. And when I say that, I mean, I, for so long, I used to be so disgusted by the lustful nature okay. of 
I like men feeling like they got to like jump on the, the, the first coochie they see or <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just give all themselves, give their money, give their their penis. Give, and it's like black men, like you are valuable. Like if you tell her no, she better fly you out. She better oh, do X, Y, She better fly you no, out. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like why we, 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 we all deserve the same energy, man and female. We deserve that so I gotta say like I'm proud because I'm seeing a lot more black men say no I'm seeing a lot more black men like okay yeah she's bad but like, no fly me out like I said like I, I think that's dope like it's it's not where it needs to be but I'm I'm seeing improvement that's good that's good that's good yeah that's that's like I said I, I don't I think it would take a while for for more people to kind of get hip to that because like you said, like, and they, because I started looking it up, and they, like, yeah, they love marriages, you know what I mean? And they're like, yo, love marriages don't, statistically, they don't work, you know what I mean? Like, if half of them or more than don't half lie. of them fail, they don't, that means they don't work. But you talking about a 99% success rate, you know what I mean? Or or even and even if it's a little bit lower in other countries, you know what I mean? It's still, it's still very, very high. It's like, yo, maybe, maybe, you know, mm -hmm. maybe your parents do know best at times. You know what I mean, and especially maybe in this... we need to get the arranging. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I know. I know some kids would probably be like, what the yeah. heck? Nah, nah, nah. But it's like, yo, trust me. Trust me. You know what I mean? Like, trust those... me. Trust me. Yep. Yeah. Your mom and dad knows best. Right. So that's yeah. good. That's good. So, um, did you have a good time tonight? Yeah. I had a great time. I was going to say to you, like, I, I didn't know if I was supposed to come looking more model esque, but I wanted to just be myself. No, nah, you could always be. Yeah, we always we encourage you know people so to be I themselves and auth authentic. The, the, you know what I mean? The like, chill, the chill look today. But I had a great, great, great time. Um, excellent, excellent podcast. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, thank you. My voice is a little hoarse. From I know we, yeah, to... we had some technical difficulties, yeah. but we we get we gonna get through well, we it. We got through it because we said that's what we was gonna do. Yeah, yeah, you know I yeah, mean, we got it. that's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, what do you have? Like, now you can plug some things. What do you have coming up? Where can people um, find so, you? All that good stuff. Um, I don't want to give too many details okay. out, but um, shout out to D Castro. He just invited me to host a, a summer pool party. Um, check him out on Instagram. He was just at Rick Ross's first annual auto show down here. Okay. It's going to be very lit. He's um, the owner of Valid Fixins, so that's all your little baddies out there with the bodies and, you know, ah. they, get, they get there. Yeah, so check that out, Valid Fixins. Um, so I got that coming up. That's July 2nd. I'm posting that. So y'all, y'all going to see that. And then um, I got invited by a designer to ATL's Fashion Night Out. That's going to be at the end of June. Okay. So I had to send her my measurements. So I'm going to be rocking um, a designer's clothing, nice. on, you know, on the runway and mixing and networking. So nice. I got some plans. I got some plans. And I'm, I'm getting booked for a music video. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to see if it's official, but that's going to be my first mu music video down here in ATL. So, okay. like I said, this summer... Are, are, are they a major artist or are they underground? Like, you don't got to tell us who, um, but like, are they... I think they're um, a um, independent artist um, and they're works like I think they have some things in the work, but I actually met them. Um, shout out to Karisha the Diva. I met them on the set of Live with Karisha. So um, his, his name's Kellen, the artist. So if you look him up, you can kind of you know see the kind of stuff that he does. But he makes some really dope music. Okay, dope, 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 dope. So yeah, so where can people find you on social media, DJ? Um, so at Instagram, you can do at the only DJ Beverly, and that's um, the only underscore DJ Beverly. It's D E A D R E Beverly. Um, Facebook, DJ Beverly. I have a Twitter, that's the only DJ Beverly as well. Um, but if you just type in my name, DJ Beverly, all my social media accounts should come up. Like, I don't have no nickname. Like, my, I just put in DJ Beverly. 
thing you'll find. Yeah. Because I don't think anybody spells Deidre the way my parents spelled it, too. Yeah, so. like, because, yeah, because I, I ain't gonna lie. When I first saw the I name. Think you were I, having trouble, weren't you? Well, no, cause, yeah, I, it was, I was having, I wasn't like reading the whole thing, whatever. But no, nah, I actually thought when I first seen your name, because I, I was like, oh, that's a unique name, because I thought it was, I was, I kept reading it as DeAndre. I was like, but I was like, oh, that's kind of hot, though. Like a girl named, yeah, like, you know what I mean? But then I was like, because I'm used to seeing it with an <laughs> I, like Deidre with an I, whatever, you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's actually supposed to be pronounced Deidre. Deidre, okay, okay. But I let people say Deidre. And um, I've had people call me DeAndre. I had somebody say Dedry, which I think is so stupid. Yeah, no, anyway. that's, yeah. Um, like, come on. Like, yeah, come on. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, like, people can call me Deidre, but the pronunciation is actually Deidre. Okay, okay. That's a sub. That's a sub. I appreciate your time tonight. You know what I mean? Um, it was yeah, dope, dope conversation. You know what I mean? I can't wait to to get it out there. Um right. audience, you know what I mean? If you're still watching, I need you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, I need you to share it with, you know, your neighbor, yeah, uh sure, your best sure, friend, sure. with your cousin, your auntie, all that good stuff, right? And if you uh, need an actress, if you need a singer, songwriter, if you need a model, if you, whatever, hit me up. I got there, you. There you go. And she and me, she follows back. She mm -hmm. supports. You know what yep. I mean? She's a Big real, supporter. real down to earth person. Um, you know, you're welcome back anytime. You know what I mean? I got to get Max Sauce Beats on here at some yes, point in time. Yes, I was talking to him. He was like, oh, I definitely want to chop it up with him. So definitely, I think y'all should definitely do that for sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. And uh, yeah, this has been another episode of the 280 Plus Podcast, y'all. We out. Ooh, Peace. Peace. <laughs>